Uh, Kiwi's Pac-Man. Pelka Sora. Ooh. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how Sora is in doubles. In theory, this character can be incredible for doubles because you have so much air control off the moment, as we saw in the immediate rising fair. All right, going on for these up smashes as well. However, I think that the weakness of Sora is that so many of his, the, the way it's designed is there are these multi-hits. You know, you go Nair, one Nair, you know, all these moves. But that can be good to, like, lock down a player, but it also means that their teammate might be able to rush in and help out. Uh, another nice thing about Sora in teams, the fact that his recovery is just nigh infinite means that, you know, you're you don't have to, like, have worry your team weight, teammate at all. Yeah, don't let it distract you from Kiwi. Absolutely dominating uh, over the actuary on the ledge right here. Just stuffing out this Zelda, but the good neutral B and uh, using that Nehru's buff to fight through all of the Pac-Man traps. Tiki in the best position at the moment, able just to play this stage control, always end up finding limit. The amount of uh, established oh. he's going for, but ends up getting killed oh. by his own teammates. Oh no, that was so the, the fact that he had limit, limit could have taken the stock. That phantom maybe could have taken the stock, and yet somehow it all backfired. In the end, not too much of a loss. We have uh, pretty much even here, except for the fact that uh, the actuary is the only one who's still alive. Never mind, dying right there. And oh no, with. That Zelda not on the field. This might be a ton of damage knocked into 66%. No limit off stage, but that downer is going to be face sending him the wrong way. So, at the very least, he doesn't eat the worst of it. Yeah, I like that Tiki really has not been panicking while in disadvantage, knowing that they have the they have plenty of recovery mix-ups even with the cloud, thanks to just having really solid airspeed and the quick limit charge as well before the early recovery. Trying to find his way down. Tiki uh, in a bit of a tough spot. Has to eat that back air, but has limit and can recover. Oh, but oh. He, yes, he got his yeah, he got his jump back. Got to keep an eye on the other side of the stage. This looks like it is going right the, uh, the exact way that Kiwi and Pelka want it to be. Two separate one-on-ones on this full stage. And Pac-Man with stage control is always a menace. I, I wouldn't even call that one, two 1v1s. One That's two games of solitaire. <laughs> just, just ledge trapping respectively on each side of the stage. Whoa! Going way in the blast zone there. Actually managing to get a stock. And despite the fact that Tiki and the Actuary had this lead, they're having to fight from behind right now as... Even though both the Kiwi and uh, Pelka are in the red. Okay, well, the Kiwi actually drops right there. And, oh. oh, right, yeah, never we, mind. We've Chaos got a, some doubles. Yeah, we've got a super even game at the moment here as Pelka looking for the kill on that upbeat with Cloud being a bit of a fastballer with a limit. That's excellent time for, uh, for Sora to go for some of these longer uh, ladder combos. All right, I love the stance Tiki's taking, trying to sit under this platform, see how he can uh, best anti-air, getting that back air going. He's got to stay alive here and force <laughs> and force a the hydrant. <laughs> hydrant went on a rampage. <laughs> <laughs> he knew no loyalty, just out, just saw red and they hit those buttons. Now we have. Oh man, this is actually looking very even. The percents are completely tied on uh, Pelka and the actuary's part, but. Deep in the red and no limit off stage. Tiki managing to find his way back, but for how long? Yeah, that dash attack almost killing. He has to go for the high recovery. M missing the grab is uh, is uh, Kiwi. This is going to be a rough spot. Both of them are on ledge, but Cloud's able to get back, up airing him out of this, uh, up airing his teammate out of danger. This is super doable because that uh, knight is going to come through the phantom. And yep. this is Zelda with stage control having. It's, it's still a two v two. It's <laughs> phantom it really coming is. in. Not enough to actually do the deed just yet. That's and now this is, yeah, yeah, push to the ledge. That's so good from Kiwi, recognizing that basically the actuary was forced to give space, go towards the ledge. And once that Phantom started charging up, went in for the back air. And with stage positioning, that Pac-Man back air will absolutely be killing. Yeah, as you can see right here, just constantly forced to jump backward. You needed that knight at full charge, but it is... Uh, it was just a little bit too late in order to uh, in order to really start maintaining that space. Yeah, and, and I love the overshoots from uh, from Kiwi all across this. Saw the teammate was down. It's like, all right, I need a press here. I need a push. Back air. Back air. Back air. <laughs> yeah. All right, FD the counter pick here, going with the same team dynamic and a couple of immediate crouches from Tiki and Actuary, trying to see what the best opportunity for this is. Trying to take advantage of Sora's weight may be the play here, as it looks like Tiki is starting a little bit more of an offensive stance. Okay. I, I, 
in terms of the FD stage pick, we're going to have a lot more scrambling. Without those platforms for these players to kind of retreat to, uh, there's just going to be a lot more actioning happening on the ground. And, oh man, at the ledge too. All of these hits coming in. I love that. The up B, I think he might have held down to make sure that the hitbox came out. And as a result, this is completely neck and neck. No real advantage from either team, I would say. I love the burst option that came out from Pelka. Using the Sonic Blade, and when you're looking at Sora flying through the air, that Pac-Man still has a bell in hand. Coming down with the S-Master, close out stocks on them both, and now it's uh, being six stocks to five, uh, no, five stocks to four, closing out immediately though. Man, while Tiki and Actuary are playing catch up most of the time, I end up lo losing their stocks first. They are never far behind and always oh, yes. giving Kiwi and Pelka a run for their money. Oh man, they're a stack ledge is so crowded. Everybody is there right now. But honestly, like a lot of damage is happening, but we're not seeing any kills. No real edge guards, despite the fact that Cloud is a character that I would expect to see him get gimped at least once, especially when there is this much entropy at action. No, he's just raw dying to that back air. Like, oh, Kiwi just getting so much mo uh, so much potential off of Pac-Man's just raw buttons. It goes to show how different the character can play. While the Hydrant is such a menace and these bonus fruit are terrifying, Pac-Man's aerials and normals are beyond okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... Yeah, we're having, this is kind of actually, they're taking turns being trapped at the ledge. I like the idea of going for a high recovery, but even then he opts to retreat and, oh, that's going to be double. Ah, I don't know if you really are co so comfortable taking that that trade if you're uh, if you're Tiki in the actuary. Yeah, it's a it's a good stock trade, but it's also one that you're, you're not in the best position for, but you have to get this kill on to uh, Kiwi or try to abuse Sora a little bit more. 62% is <laughs> very much kill percent as the sprint comes out just in time. It was a super high spike, but I love the mix-up from Tiki. As the stock falls on, uh, on Kiwi, bring this to a one-stock game and a very similar position for Kiwi from, uh, from Tiki as before. Oh, he this ripped that. Was out for blood. I think he had some intangibility, but the intangibility ran out right as the hydrant came at his face. And this is much more grim than the last game. Already, uh, the actuary is 100%. Yeah, just going to be dying to that upbeat. Great stuff from Kiwi and Pelka. The Sora, despite it being a new character, probably new synergies between you know the Pac-Man and the Sora that they're not as practiced in, uh, didn't matter. I think they still did a great showing of exactly what those two characters can do. So they're going to be moving on in the winner's bracket. Yeah, and I love this finishing up beat from, uh, from the Sora, from uh, Pelka. Because of how good it looked like the actuary was at holding a distance and holding center, being able to just go... Uh, here, I'll pause it a little too early. Okay, replay. Re replay's being a little, <laughs> little funky, and it's entirely my fault. But yeah, this, so knowing that the actuary would have a good, a solid chance of being able to close out stocks and break this, bring this to a one v one super early because of Knight and because of her offstage play, make use of Sora's strengths, push the actuary to the limit, and that's what got uh, both Kiwi and Pelka both game one and two. Yeah. And also, just like if we can go back to uh, this replay here, I love the way that they opted to cover the ledge here. Going super duper low, but Kiwi was right there on top, just back airing, putting the Zelda once more off stage. And at that point, Sora was already low. And Sora, as a floatier character, can just sort of like hang out and then use his either his really high double jump or his upbeat in order to punish like if the opponent does in fact go there's higher. Like, yeah, there's like and, two zones here, right? Like mm -hmm. Pac-Man is covering all of this with Pac-Man's just generally good aerials and being able to charge bonus fruit. This is the Pac zone, while down here in, we'll put it in blue, Sora is able to Cover basically all uh, of this. Yeah, I was gonna say, draw a big old circle there, buddy, yeah, because like, there is a lot of stuff just, that Sora can do. <laughs> <laughs> just in the ledge hang itself, like that, that puts Sora in such a good spot because he can ledge hang, double jump back air if, uh, if the or up beat. That's yeah. what we saw. The fact that up beat yeah, is such a long-lasting hitbox, and unlike other characters with that sort of spin attack esque up beat, he doesn't go into free fall after.